Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Bushcraft Skills. So, today, we're going to go out. I'm going to show you what basically punk wood is. We're going to find some. We're going to use our tin here, and we're going to make charred punk wood. And it's a lot like char cloth in that respect. You use it with flint and steel or a ferrule rod, anything that you can use to throw sparks. So let's get outside and get it done. This here is punk wood. You can see it's a, the remains of a rotted log. And when you come down, you'll see it's really spongy. Now we can harvest this, and what I like to do, you can see there's holes here from insects, is I'll harvest this punk wood and lay it out on my patio and let it dry. And once it's dried, then I'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll convert it into charred punk wood for our fire starter. This is what the punk wood looks like when it's all dried out. It's been sitting out here in the sun all day. Now we're ready for the next step. Got our dried out punk wood. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna put little pieces, because our can has little of it in here. And once again, the only the reason we dried this out, it was really wet when I grabbed it, and uh, there's a fair amount of bugs, as you can see, were in it. And by drying it out in the sun, I got a lot of the bugs to uh, vacate the premises. the wood in there but I still got room so I'm gonna take some of my denim I'm gonna do a layer of denim on top so it's a it's a two for one type deal here now one of the interesting things about char cloth and charred punk wood is if you do it this way you're guaranteed your char cloth on the top will come out nice and flexible it won't be brittle at all i learned this from the david uh, smith channel he is the fire king that's ready to go in the fire so let's do it so my log cabin fire lay as you can see it's burnt down quite nicely so i'm gonna go ahead and put our tin in there And when it's done smoking, we can pull that bad boy out and take a look and see what our punk wood and uh, charred punk wood, I should say, and uh, char cloth looks like. I'll bring you back when it's done. Just thought I'd give you a look at what it looks like when it's belching smoke out of that hole. We're waiting for that to stop. And periodically I turn it with a stick so I make sure it gets even heat all the way around. Okay, now I'll bring you back when we're done. The tin has cooled off. We got it out of the fire. Let's take a look at what we got. All right. We got our char cloth and our charred punk wood. And this is pure charcoal. Now this should grab a spark pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and empty out what I have here, refill the tin, and when I bring you back, we're going to do uh, flint and steel and see if one of these will catch a spark. All right? So I'll bring you back here in a minute. We've got our punk wood here in our pan, flint, steel, or I said say chert. I'm going to try to drive sparks down in here and see if we can get something lit. Oh, 
I got a piece. See that? That one piece? Now this would be enough. Let me see if I can get it out of there without setting everything else on fire. Oh well. That one piece right there. Now, if you didn't want to use whatever you got, I'm trying to get it out. There it is. Right there. Now just make sure that the rest of this don't burn up. I'm going to put the lid back on and smother it. But this, in a tinder bundle. I, yeah, that's hot. That right there, you could start a fire with. Absolutely. All right. I think we're done out here. We went out. We found some punk wood. We turned it into charred punk wood. You saw how it caught a spark. And it's a great fire starter for primitive fire making. Heck, even if you're just using a ferrocium rod, it's good. I mean, it catches a spark so good. That's really all I got to say about making charred punk wood. It's easy. Next time you're out hiking or out doing something, if you find an old log that's starting to rot out and it reaches that punky phase, hey, harvest some. Next time you have a campfire, get your tin out and make some. And uh, that's all I got to say on that, folks. I'll see you later on out in those woods back there. Maybe starting a primitive fire with punk, charred punk wood. Thank you for watching.